How's it going guys? Um, my name is Michelle and uh, this is a tutorial for, for uploading multiple files using Django. So first of all let's create a project. We're gonna name it upload. Um, let's head over to the directory. We'll create an application called index. Cool. So let's go to the settings file. Add the application. We're also going to add a media root. This is where the files are going to get uploaded. I'm going to call this directory media. Let's go to the URL conf of the application and point it to the index app. Let's go to the in this application and create the URLs pi file. Let's import the views, create the URL patterns. So the first URL is going to be off form. The second one will be called upload. If you go to the views, create the views conjugated to the URLs. The first view is the form view. It's very straightforward. It's going to return a template. which is going to contain the form. And the second view is going to um, contain the function uh, that opposes the file, but for, for now we're going to just write pass and save and exit. Um, let's create the media root directory. Let's also create a template directory. Okay, so let's do minus P. There we go. Alright, so uh, let's create the form.html. It's pretty simple. Got a method of post and an action to a URL which is going to activate the form. We're going to take help from the file uploads page from the general documentation. And we're going to add this attribute, this one over here, to our form because that's what they tell us to do. We're working with files. Let's create two input. One is of type file, and with an attribute of multiple so that we can select multiple files. Another is of type submit, which is our submit button. Alright, so. That's it with the template. Let's go back to the views and finish the whole view. So in the general documentation, they have provided us with a function to upload a single file. 
we're gonna loop over this function to upload as many files as we want. So we're gonna create a for loop. Over request of files because that's where our files are. Let's work with the indentation from uh, <coughs> oh. I'm going to change the name of the upload function to something. More easy that process. And over here, we need to provide the absolute URL. Projects um, upload. The absolute URL for the file uploads, absolute URL for the uploaded files. And my upload files are going to be called file underscore and then one, two, three, depending on the count of the loop. So we're going to add that over here. As a string, obviously. Alright. So let's call the function and provide it with the variable which contains the request files which is x and uh, return on HTTP response which says files uploaded we are yet to import the HTTP response so Alright, so let's see what we have done so far. I think we're pretty much. If I don't make any mistake, it's gonna be fine. So you see, we can select single files or multiple files. So it's three files chosen. Hit upload and says files uploaded. If you check the finder and uh, our media root, which is in Django 1.8 okay, projects project directory and media you can see that those two files have been uploaded uh, by uh, the name that we have provided in our code so that's about it these are the two files uh, if you find this if you found this tutorial useful please uh, subscribe and hit the like button uh, thanks